I pierced all the condoms in my son's bedroom and replaced my daughter-in-law's birth control pills with vitamins. <laughs> Not only that, but for dinner, the newlyweds were served in a neutral dessert. Viagra cakes. Mmm. My mother-in-law is the best. You should visit us more often. Quickly ate all the treats. And my plan was in motion. That night, Brandon was finally going to make me a grandson. I was all ears. However, no sound was coming from inside the bedroom. I knocked and opened the door. And I gasped. The only one inside was my daughter-in-law. She told me that my son went to fix the neighbor's faucet. What neighbor? Old Mrs. Fletcher? No, the young girl across the street. She just moved in. It was a disaster. Brandon had eaten a dozen Viagra cakes and now he was helping his neighbor. That's when I realized that I had raised him to be too good of a person. I rushed to the neighbor's house and she opened the door while standing there in her short bathrobe. She called out to my son. Mom, is something wrong? I looked at my son and realized that the Viagra had worked. Unfortunately, Brandon's wife noticed it as well. Is there something you want to explain to me? Baby, I don't know how this happened. My daughter-in-law was insulted and said that they should spend the night apart. That wasn't part of my plan, but I figured out a way to make it work. Ingrid, it's all my fault. I told her I mistook my medicine with the vanilla extract that I was supposed to add to the cakes. Those drops get the blood flowing, and I think that's what happened. Hmm, fortunately, my daughter-in-law also ate quite a few of the cakes, which affected her blood pressure. She believed me and agreed to stay. Thank you. We'll try to spice things up. That night, not just me, but the whole block heard my son and daughter-in-law get intimate. I was happy and looking forward to holding my grandson in my arms. After my son moved out, I was unbearably lonely. But nine months later, I became a grandmother. I offered to take care of the baby after the birth, so my daughter-in-law could take a break. Live a little. Grandmothers love to be with babies. But my daughter-in-law gently picked up my grandson from my arms and didn't miss the opportunity to remind me about my health. We don't want to bother you. Babies require a lot of energy. And you have problems with your blood pressure. I wasn't going to give up. The next day, I stalked the kids to the park. What a surprise! Here, let me hold my grandson. My son wasn't happy to see me. It was the first time he'd ever crossed me. As it turned out, he found the pierced condoms as well the vitamins I swapped the birth control pills for. You knew we were planning to have a baby later on. 
But you decided to intervene. Brandon threatened that they would raise the baby without my help. And I have to say, he didn't back down from his decision. I didn't see my grandson much after that. Mostly through videos. So I had to figure out what to do during my retirement. And you know what? I found something to do. I started baking cakes for the coffee shop next door. And they were a big hit. Even without the secret stuffing. I inflated condoms before making love. Because I was on the list of the richest people in town. Any gold digger was willing to do anything to get pregnant with my child. Oh, I don't understand how it happened. It's probably spoiled. Now, you are the spoiled one! I needed someone who would love me, not my money. I almost came up finding the right girl. And that's when I met Kelly. She checked every box and didn't give me a single reason to doubt her motives. Which was why I proposed to her. On our wedding day, bailiffs broke into my house and took everything worth more than one dollar with them. I just stood there, watching Callie's reaction. Honey, what's happening? What does this mean? I told her I was broke, and I had nothing to my name. The bailiffs even took my wedding suit. I thought she would run faster than Julia Roberts, but Callie was in no rush as she took off her wedding dress. She said that she was ready to marry me, even in tears. We got married without guests or a luxurious ceremony. She probably thought I had a stash for a rainy day. But she would be disappointed. Instead of an expensive restaurant, we sat in our lounge and had a picnic with champagne and hot dogs. This is better than any fancy party. Love you. Callie seemed perfect. But three divorces crushed my will to believe. I showed my new wife an old broken trailer full of rats and cockroaches. Upon entering it, she grimaced as if from a toothache. However, by the end of the day, she had the trailer squeaky clean. It seemed as if she was seriously considering living with me in the trailer. I believe in you. You've already reached the top once, and I'm sure you'll do it again. After those words, 
everything fell into place. Kelly decided to play the long game and wait until I got rich again. <laughs> I wondered how long she would last. I pretended to go to interviews and that I was looking for a job, but I was hopping in my limousine and going home every day. That's where I used to take a break from our poor life. One day, my head of security told me that he had seen Kelly in a nearby mansion. That's when I knew that Kelly had found herself a new rich man. So I went back to the trailer to bid her farewell. You failed the test, honey! I told her that I was still fabulously rich and that I came up with a whole plan just to expose her. Kelly started making excuses that she was at the neighboring mansion because she got a job there as a maid. She claimed that she wanted to earn money to rent us a normal house. It all seemed too good to be true. I'm not going to prove anything. She took off her apron and gathered her things. At first, I thought she was manipulating me. But Kelly was determined. In order not to lose her, I took out my wallet and said that she had convinced me. And that all that was mine was not hers. still don't understand? I didn't tell you about the job because I didn't want to put pressure on your conscience. But as it turns out, you don't have one. Kelly left, leaving me all alone with my credit cards and cash. Trust is the most valuable thing in a relationship. And it's not something that money can buy.